Well, there was another threat to a school and or schools in the eastern Sierra, Mono County specifically, but officials say this one was a hoax. Mono County Sheriff Ingrid Braun issued a news release Thursday about the incident, and that email states that on the evening of Monday, May 7th, officials at the Eastern Sierra Unified School District received an email which stated from the author, quote, I will make this simple. Three PVC pipe bombs placed under school transport will explode. I will then set off the main pipe bomb hidden in the school. Pay us $5,000 USD, US dollars, via PayPal to an address that was redacted, and we will tell you how to remove our devices, end quote. Now, Mo uh, Mono Sheriff Braun said that the threat was immediately reported to the Mono County Sheriff's Office, was not specific as to date, time, or location. The language used in this email, Sheriff Braun says, was nearly identical to that described in an official alert regarding hoax emails that was distributed to law enforcement earlier in the day. An internet search revealed that a group called the Apophis Squad was claiming responsibility for the emails which were sent to many schools and or school districts. Now this group conducted a similar hoax in April of this year. Their goal is to disrupt schools, the press release says, and create havoc for law enforcement throughout the United States and the United Kingdom. Now even though it was clear that this was not a credible threat, as a precaution, Mono Sheriff's deputies went out immediately on Monday night to check every school bus. All of the buses were found to be safe and there was no evidence of a threat at any of the schools. Mono Sheriff and school personnel checked school facilities again Tuesday morning and determined the schools to be safe. Now the news release states that at no time were any student staff or school visitors in any danger. In this circumstance, Sheriff Braun says we were certain there was no threat. Now to prevent unnecessary panic or spreading of rumors, Sheriff Braun requested that the hoax be kept confidential and Superintendent Don Clark abided by that request. Once school was in session, the existence of the hoax was disclosed by Sheriff Braun. Both the Eastern Sierra Unified School District and the Mono County Sheriff's Office will take every measure possible, the press release notes, to protect the safety of students, faculty, faculty and school facilities. Now, this threat does come on the heels of the arrest of Mammoth High School student Devin White in late April for alleged threats to staff and students. Now, White was on the Mono County Superior Court calendar for Tuesday. We contacted Mono County District Attorney Tim Kendall, and he said that the bail hearing was once again continued, this time to May 29th. Mono DA Tim Kendall said a forensic evaluation on White has been ordered and will not be completed before that May 29th date. White remains in custody with no bail. Well, Deb Murphy filed this report for Sierra Wave Media. In mid-April, Mono County asked for Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti's help to ensure adequate irrigation water for grazing leases in southern Mono. Garcetti basically blew the Board of Supervisors off, referring them in the future to the LADWP Board of Commissioners head, Mel Levine. Mono Supervisor Fred Stump called the response condescending. Now, LADWP's decision to not irrigate 6,000 acres of grazing leases has been postponed until the department goes through an environmental review. But the water that will, according to Garcetti's letter, is less than minimal. Now, the letter states staff has indicated that the amount of water provided will likely be similar to 2016, which was also based on snowpack condition. Now, Mono County ranchers got 4,600 acre feet in 2016, the year before the epic snowfall runoff. Mono County snowpack was at 71% of normal with an anticipated runoff of 73,000 acre feet. Now, according to this year's department operations plan, runoff is at 82% of normal with runoff anticipated to be 82,700 acre feet. Now, in prior years, ranchers received five acre feet 
per acre for a total of 30,000 acre feet on the long, little round, and round valley leases. Now, Mono County's response to the May 1st Garcetti letter points out the flawed math. The water delivered amounted to 18% of what ranchers had received, not proportional to the actual percentage of normal runoff. Now, according to Mono County's math, proportional water deliveries would total 23,900 acre feet this year. Mayor Garcetti, Deb Murphy writes, made the mistake of referencing returning flows to the Owens Gorge. Mono's letter signed by CAO Leslie, Leslie Chapman states, we regret to inform you that despite having three years to implement the settlement agreement, LADWP has made little progress in completing the facility improvements necessary to implement the flow regimes. Even more frustrating in recent discussions with plaintiffs, LADWP has taken the position the three-year deadline is subject to interpretation and it not need to comply with it, end quote. County's letter did cover Levine as well as 33 other interested parties. Well, Deb also filed a story on the District 1 Supervisors Forum. Incumbent Dan Tothero and candidate Lynn Greer were center stage Monday evening at that forum hosted by the Bishop Sunrise Rotary Club. Now, the District 1 is the only one up for grabs this year. Supervisor Rick Pucci is running unopposed. Now the format was opening statements, set questions, then written questions submitted by some of the 55 people in attendance. Now among the question for Tothero and Greer were your vision for Inyo County in five and 15 years. Tothero said that expanded internet, commercial service, new businesses, and the county owns its landfill sites in 15 years. Inyo has a diverse, stable economy, and the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power doesn't treat us like a colony. Lynn Greer outlined areas she'd concentrate on, economic development and the housing issue, environmental protection, public-private partnerships, and encouraging businesses. Deb's full report on that is posted on our website, sierrawave.net. Well, the Mammoth Lakes Police Department issued a news release this week stating that it has gotten several reports of scam. These are scams, SCE and IRS calls being received throughout Mammoth Lakes and our communities. Now, while the scammer calls, they often convince the elderly or the press release says naive people to pay them via Visa gift cards and payments upwards of thousands of dollars. This money can't be recouped because the phone numbers are bogus and the gift cards make it untraceable. Please, we're begging you, be aware of these scan calls and do not pay anyone over the phone with gift cards. Much like uh, George Costanza, I'm very uh, careful with my money, as we all should be. Do not ever give anyone any money or personal information over the phone, ever. We'll be back with more news.